I do think you have to get in a place where it's like, God damn, I just want to jump off a bridge right now. Cabin Accord, it's insurance, you know? If you don't trust yourself, if you don't trust the technique, then yeah, have a cord. If you don't believe in fate, have a cord. People call me a kamikaze, but I just won't be reined in. I won't be corded in. Think of like a phone. You remember you used to like have those curly cord phones? Where'd they go? They became obsolete. My goal was to make cords obsolete in the sport of bungee jumping. I mean, he's a risk taker. Um, he really got me out of my comfort zone. I remember the first time I saw him bungee jumping and uh, I think I fell in love with him right there. But I think everyone does when they see him jump. I think we've all got cords we've got to let go of. I don't have shoelaces in my shoes because I used to get made fun of because I couldn't tie my shoes. I don't wear a belt because why should I have a piece of leather telling me how big my waist is? Riley like changed the game, absolutely changed the game. If you like combine Michael Jordan and OJ Simpson together, like, can you imagine that? Freak athlete, like Messi and Aaron Hernandez. Like, just monster. Kid was one of the most natural quarters I've ever met in my life. The way he'd spring back like a fucking swan. Cam took me under his wing when I was 14 years old. I was out in Colorado bungee jumping. That was like my punk days when I, I refused to bungee jump unless I was blackout drunk. Hell, that kid don't give a shit about anything. I've seen him do things you wouldn't understand, man. I've jumped off of every one of the letters in the Hollywood sign. Airplane like an helicopter. The two tit things on the way to San Diego. Radio towers. I've done a horizontal jump, which is basically where you just get dragged by a truck. Skyscrapers. I jumped off my dad's shoulders countless times, even as an adult. Dude, he's like freaking Superman, dude. He is Superman. You know, it's his passion. He's passionate about it. Uh, I don't have a passion, so I can't really relate. Um, <laughs> Paying the mortgage is my passion, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh. We were top of the world, you don't understand, you know? But who was selling out stadiums? We were selling out bridges, man. People come all over in the world to watch us jump. The only thing that was holding us back was the cord, and I think Riley sees that. But he's too far gone. No talking to him, that's why we don't talk no more. I have never jumped with him. Uh, we will train together. Um, and, and we'll go, he'll let me go right up to the, you know, right next to him. And then he will do it alone. And he will not, he will say, stop it. Stop it, Tommy. This wood's no good. My whole life has been leading up to tomorrow morning to 10.36 a.m. That's the first time I went cordless. As everyone goes cordless when they're born. Yeah, you know, I have I have questions. I have some questions, but um, it is really hard to breach that wall when Riley's in go mode. I'm not even allowed to sleep in our bed leading up to a jump. That's off the table. Um, I'm on the floor. <laughs> I would sleep on the couch, but sometimes in the middle of the night, he needs water. So just to make it easier for the both of us, I just stay on the floor. And Yeah, she's great. What's the biggest challenge Riley's going to face out there? Survival. That's going to be hard for him. Just living past jumping off a bridge without a bungee cord. He's all pissed off that I don't want to use a cord. He doesn't get it. A lot of the guys I ran with, a lot of quarters, they tried it. They're dead. My wife died of free cording. You know, and she wasn't even a bungee jumper. My dad died of free cording. Back then they called it suicide. I think some people would say maybe he's just worried about your, your health and safety. Mm, nah, I think he's just an idiot. Okay, so I um, I took the time to uh, confer with some experts and sort of get their opinions on the likely outcomes um, if you do this, this jump. And, well, the data came back, and if you do this, Riley, when it comes to death, the likelihood is 100%. 100%. 
Well, lucky for you, you're talking to the number one expert. Right. Hmm. Alice, do you have any... I mean, what do you want me to do? It's his passion. I can't... Thank you. I mean, am I worried? Am I worried? Am I, am I not sleeping? Yeah. I don't want to be your cord, but yeah, I'm worried. Okay, don't you think Buzz Aldrin was worried when he went to the freaking moon? I'm just jumping off a little bridge. Well, this is suicide, okay? There's free, free cording? You, you're just jumping and you're falling. Nobody can survive this. Are you cheating on me? Yeah, I mean, you can't, if you start thinking about the jump, and if you're thinking while you're jumping, you're fucked. It's like sex. You think about sex? Yeah, you look like you think about sex. We're all gonna die someday. Flies die every day. Especially the baby ones. You know most of the babies, fly babies, they die. You wouldn't know that a lot of baby humans die because there's so many goddamn humans. The earth is tethered to a sun and an invisible cord that we can't see. Imagine us earthlings free of this cord, free to expound on the rest of the universe and beyond other universes.